All right, just a little bit about last audio for the people at home and for you guys in here too. Uh, the general legal counsel, if you have questions, you can actually send questions like uh, sponsoring a sports team. Uh, does that in, does that constitute a rebate if you sponsor a charitable sports team? Uh, what about upgrades to premium seating? What about providing webinars that are free? Is there still a $25? So if you've got questions about rebating, you can contact the general legal counsel for the Department of Insurance and send them a specific question if you have a specific uh, one in mind. I can't answer everything. Sometimes they'll say, yeah, you know, if it's a charitable, uh, like uh, the Habitat for Humanity, and you want to uh, pay for the flyers on that nonprofit organization, they may allow that, okay? Because that's not really benefiting one client, okay? Now, are, what are the requirements to get your license? Maybe we should have went over this first, but here's some of the laws that are requirements to get your Indiana title license. It's got to be 18 years of age. Anybody in here not 18? Great. Thank you. I uh, had a class a couple of months ago where a young lady was still 17. Yeah, still 17. She had to wait till uh, she had like four more weeks till she was 18. All right. No, Bob, there's, there's no upper age limit. Just an upper mentality limit, I guess. <laughs> no. Um, you got to have an Indiana residence or work out of an Indiana business. Successfully complete the 10 hour pre licensing course, which you've done. Committed any act that is a ground for denial, suspension, or revocation of your license. And submit the appropriate form, which you guys will get. Uh, you guys here in line will get it when you leave. You guys online, listen to what I'm talking to you about. All right. Now, it's funny because the people in the class are looking at me really crazy because I'm talking to the computer screen. Email me and let me know you've done the class, finished the class. I will email you the correct certificate for the state. You will be able to print a certificate out from Rio University. The state wants a very specific certificate. I have got that. If you are online, don't look at me like I'm crazy. The live class is looking at me like I'm crazy. If you are online and finishing this up, you need to email me to let me know you're done and I will send you the state required certificate. If you try and send the, the certificate from real university, it will not fulfill their needs. Okay, so do that. Um, you may be exempt from pre-licensing and it's funny if, uh, maybe we should have gone through this first, hope there's no one here if you have any of the following degrees, certified financial planner, financial consultant, uh, if you already a uh, property and casualty underwriter, uh, anybody, no. If you're out there in La La Land listening to me and you have any of those, then you may be exempt. It does not say you are, it says you may be, all right? If you're a certified insurance counselor and accredited advisor insurance, or if you have a bachelor's degree in insurance, that can be waived, okay?